there, explorers. Do you wonder if there is a book where history was written from inside and outside of the Philippines? Well, there is. The Book of Successos de las Islas Filipinas, or in English translation, Events in the Philippine Islands that is written by Dr. Antonio de Morga. It is one of the important works of the Philippines about the colonization of Spain that is published in Mexico in 1609. The coverage of this book is from 1493 to 1603. It explains the political, social, and economical aspect of the colonizer and colonized country. The book is based on the experience and observation of Antonio de Morga. Let's talk about the writer of this famous work, Dr. Antonio de Morga. A Spanish lawyer and a government official during the 17th century. Historical anthropologist, author of Success de las Islas Filipinas, wrote the first lay formal history of the Philippines conquest by Spain. He is a doctorate in canon and civil law. The works consist of eight characters, of the first discoveries of the Eastern Islands, of the government of Dr. Francisco de Sande, of the government of Don Gonzalo Ronrigolo de Feñalosa, of the government of Dr. Santiago de Vera, of the government of Gomez Ferres das Marinas, of the government of Don Francisco Tello, of the government of Don Pedro de Aquaña, an account of the Philippines Island. Purpose of Success de las Islas Filipinas, Marga 1609 wrote that the purpose of writing successes was so he could chronicle the deeds achieved by our Spaniards, the discovery, conquest, and conversation of Philippines Island, as well as various fortunes that they have from time to time in the great kingdoms and among the Fajian peoples surrounding the islands. I know you're asking what, why, and how Dr. Cerezal choose the work of Dr. Morgan. What led Dr. Cerezal to Morgan's work? Rizal was an earn seeker of truth, and this marked him as historian. He had a burning desire to know exactly the condition of the Philippines when Spaniards came ashore to the island. His theory was the country was economically self-sufficient and prosperous. Entertain the idea, it had lively and vigorous community. He believed the conquest of the Spaniards contributed in the part to the decline of the Philippines' rich tradition and culture. What led Dr. Cerezal to Morgan's work? He then decided to undertake the annotation of Antonio de Morgan, successor de las Islas Filipinas. His personal friendship with Ferdinand Blumenreit provide the inspiration for doing a new edition of Morgan's successor. Devoting four months research and writing and almost a year to get his manuscript published in Paris in January 1890. Why does Rizal choose Morga's work? Rizal felt Morga to be more objective than the religious writers whose accounts included many miracle stories. Morga compared to religious chroniclers was more sympathetic to the Indians. And finally, Morga was not only an eyewitness but a major actor in the events he narrated. Rizal's second consideration for the choice of Morga was that it was the only female as opposed to religious or ecclesiastical. History of the Philippines written during the colonial period. The third consideration for the choice of Morga was Rizal's opinion that the secular account was more objective, more trustworthy, than those written by the religious missionaries which were liberally sprinkled with tales of miracles and apparitions. Why Hussel? Why Hussel Rizal chose Morga's work? The fourth consideration in Rizal's choice of the Morga was that it appeared more sympathetic, at least in parts to the injuries, in contrast to the friar accounts. 
many of which were biased or downright racist in tone and interpretation. The fifth and last consideration was the Morgo was an eyewitness and therefore a primary source on the Philippines and its people at the point of first contracts with Spain. How did Jose Rizal know about Morga's work? Rizal found the book while he was in London at the British Museum Reading Room. He had copied the whole 351 pages of the book and anointed every chapter of it. It was the first historical work on the Philippines by a Filipino. It is the Filipino history written from the point of the view of the colonized, not colonizer.